Morning, everyone. This is the News Burst. It is Tuesday morning, mid-20s. Your wake-up temperatures here in southeast Wisconsin. The rest of the Storm Team forecast from Scott Steele. Mostly cloudy, becoming breezy with areas of light snow developing late. High near 38 degrees today. In the news, we have a couple of tragic stories involving young people that we do have to talk about today. There was a mystery out in Heartland. The Heartland Arrowhead High School student uh, was found dead by his parents. He was unresponsive as they went to get him up Monday morning. He'd gone to bed, nothing wrong, seemingly nothing wrong. So they're going to do an autopsy today on the 17-year-old to find out what may have caused his death. And you have this 11-year-old Longfellow Middle School student in Wauwatosa walking to school uh, and was hit by a train at 68th and State. Now, uh, there's information coming out that he was wearing headphones of some kind or earbuds, uh, not sure which, but could have been listening to loud music and just simply was not aware of the train. Uh, train officials are going to look at whether or not safety features could be added to that area to prevent things like this in the future, but that's where that's going moving forward. Milwaukee Common Council today will close an ugly chapter in the city of Milwaukee as uh, they are expected to approve a payment to Frank Jude Jr. He was the guy who back in 2004 was beaten by off-duty cops at a party in Bayview. And it looks like a $2 million settlement that was already approved by a committee and uh, Common Council is expected to go ahead and authorize that payment. Governor Scott Walker has decided not to challenge uh, individual recall signatures. Uh, some people are a little bit surprised by that. Um, his campaign is simply saying that it just didn't have enough time to go through the entire verification process. Democrats have dismissed that uh, as being nonsense, pointing out that he got three times the legal limit by getting that extension from the court. Nonetheless, he's not going to go ahead and challenge the signatures and will wait for the GAB to essentially try to weed out any frauds, fakes, or other, other things of that nature, things that were just mistaken. Uh, GAB has to come out with that. Their deadline is, I think, the middle of next month. Next month for sure. Uh, national politics primaries today in Michigan and Arizona. Arizona said to be uh, firmly in the hands of Mitt Romney, but Michigan, his home state, could be up for grabs. They're saying Rick Santorum can go ahead and win that, and that would be a huge blow to the Romney campaign, not just in terms of delegates because it is a big state, but also the fact that that's his home state. So we'll watch that. Uh, Michigan and Arizona, the primaries today. Free cakes. You love this story. This is the number one story of the day for right. Susan Kim Ford. Oh, well, no, everybody else. I just noticed. That's Big story. About. IHOP giving away free pancakes, uh, short stack from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. tonight with proceeds going to the Children's Miracle Network. They're asking you to make donations on your way out the door. Matt Kensett wins the Daytona 500.